Welcome fellow Arcadians and rich enthusiasts, you are watching the Evercade Effect and I am Richo Kildish Nine. And today we're going to talk about the Sindon light gun and the possibilities of how that can be integrated into the Evercade. And if you stick around towards the end, I'm going to talk about another possible cheaper solution that I think would really be fun and you're not going to want to miss it. I'm Warren Davis and you're watching the Evercade Effect. Evercade Effect. All right, so first we gotta talk about the Sindon light gun technology. So this is a really, really cool, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and head over to their Indiegogo page here in a moment. For those of you who are unfamiliar, basically with modern day LCD screens, you can't use your traditional uh, Nintendo zapper. It just doesn't work. These are only designed to initially work with CRTs. So yeah, wouldn't it be really cool you know, now in the modern day age of gaming, to have an LCD screen work with an actual light gun. Yes, I think that would be awesome. The problem is there's only one known good one available that works without having to put like, uh, you know, weird funky sensor bars or other things. And that's the Linden si uh, Sinden light gun. Ah, I can say that properly. Oh, for God's sake, pull yourself together, man. Now, with this currently, I should mention that the drivers are only available uh, for PC, there aren't any Android or Linux or Evercade drivers yet, but who knows? You know, there definitely could be some possibilities. Uh, I know that a, a lot of you are probably asking, well, what about the cost? So let's go ahead and head over to the Indiegogo page, and I do want to talk about that. So here we have our backers, and if we scroll down, yeah, there's the various packages. So let me let me start off with the most expensive one, which is like 300 bucks, but. If you look here at that, you're getting uh, two light guns and you're getting the recoil upgrade, which I think would be, uh, you know, totally fantastic. However, that's, you know, a little bit high of a cost. If we go down here and we look at this, so for just uh, 101 bucks, USB, uh, or great British pounds, you can get just your basic Sindon light gun. You know, it says it works with Windows and, and Raspberry Pi. Hmm? So, um... You know, maybe there is some possibilities in it working with Evercade. Ah, and they're shipping those out in uh, 2022. And yeah, so that's a, you know, that's at $100. Yes, that's at the cost of the actual VS itself. But that is a lot cheaper. Now, you're not going to get the recoil with that. You could go ahead and get the upgraded guns. But imagine maybe a Blaze did a partnership. And they could get that cost bundled down like a little bit lower. Like, wouldn't it be great if they could get that down to like $80? And then... Maybe have some like a special game cart dedicated to it. Uh, we know that Arcade One Up currently is going to come out with the Time Crisis, so they may not be able to get licensing for that. But there's other like PlayStation One games. Like what about Carnival? <sighs> you know, who knows? So I think that would just be a really really neat idea to have it integrated with the Evercade because that is one thing that's missing. I mean, light gun technology was so much fun, you know, playing that as a kid. And uh, you know, looking into this, it's actually cheaper than I would have thought. Now, even if you still had to pay the $100 just to get it, if uh, Blaze did come out with a special cart, that could be worth it. So, what if, um, you know, you may be asking yourselves, could there be other possibilities? So, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you here. <laughs> Let me just show you this. So, ah, I can't even get it out. So, this is your Wii Remote. You know, steering wheel remote. And this is like some third party um, gun holder for the Wii Remote, just to make it more fun when you pull the trigger. So, wouldn't it be neat if they maybe made a cheaper solution where you could go ahead and plug in, you know, uh, some type of like USB adapter and plug in your infrared Wii bar? What would that look like? So, let me go ahead and, and take a moment and let's find out. So <laughs> you notice there, woo! Oh, that shooting was giving me a workout. Now, that is the game Bang, that is the secret unlock if you put in Gale Code Collection 1 or 2. And so let me be quite honest with something here. So before making this video, I never really played this game too much. And I, you know, had to, of course, to get the footage. And let me just say that kind of playing, <laughs> just using the controller to get the footage, uh, 
this game really isn't that fun. Quite frankly, um, you know, just after a few moments, it was just pretty bland, meh. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was pretty meh. So, I would not be worth it to spend a hundred bucks or less just to get the Sindon light gun, just for this. No, by any means, um, you know, I think that that game it <laughs> needs to be a lot better. Matter of fact, in order for it to be worth it, Blaze really needs to have a dedicated cartridge for sure. I mean, yeah, it's like if they had a dedicated cartridge, you could pop this in, play it for a few minutes, but then I think you're going to be bored and you're going to be done. So let me know in the comments section below, you know, what what, what do you think? Uh, is the Sin and Light Gun something that you would go ahead and buy for your Evercade VS for the hundred, for the hundred bucks uh, price range? What is the limit? Would you be willing to pay a hundred dollars and on top of that, uh, you know, a bundled game or would you have to have the game included with it? Or is Light Gun technology something that you're not interested in or... They did source like a cheap like USB adapter for like under like, you know, 20 bucks. Would you be interested in getting that? <laughs> I think most of us have, you know, Wii remotes. You can probably find that other little uh, doohickey here to put in your, your gun in, uh, you know, or just point the Wii remote itself. You know, would you be interested in, in that as a solution? Go ahead and comment and let me know below. And, um, well, I created content. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye!